pump clutches. Ogora clutches are used on a variety of mobile hydraulic applications. By simply turning on or off the clutch, hydraulic pressure can either be turned on or turned off in a variety of machines, from tow trucks to construction equipment. Ogora mobile clutches are available in different pulley styles, including single, double groove, and poly V. Most clutches are used in mobile applications, so the coil is chassis grounded and has a single wire connector. However, some clutches have a two-wire connector and some terminals are polarized because the clutch coil has a built-in diode to help prevent negative voltage spikes. Mobile clutches come in two pieces, a field coil and pulley armature. Coils can come in either an inside mount or an outside mount. The key components to the clutch are the armature rotor and field. Although these are two-piece clutches, the armature pulley assembly is actually four components pressed into one. These are the armature, which is connected to the hub via springs, rotor pulley, bearings, and field coil. Clutches come in two base types, shaft mounted, where the rotor is mounted directly to the pump or compressor shaft, or snout mounted, where the rotor mounts to an extended snout off the pump or compressor shaft. The advantage with the snout design is that the belt side load is taken up by the snout to the shaft, so the bearings in the pump or compressor can be sized smaller. For shaft mount clutches, the field can come in either a standard outside four bolt mount or an inside three bolt mount. Clutches operate electrically, but transmit torque mechanically. When current is applied to the clutch, the clutch becomes an electromagnet and produces magnetic lines of flux. Although specialty coils are available, approximately 80% of coils are 12 volts and 15% are 24 volts. In multiple pole clutches, the magnetic attraction points are multiplied by the number of flux paths created. Even though basic magnetic flux is created in the field coil, when it goes into the rotor, the rotor design consists of a number of slots in the steel rotor. On the corresponding armature, similar slots are made which forces the flux to travel in a north-south pattern, looping across the armature and rotor face. These multiple points of contact increase the torque in a smaller package, helping to reduce weight and size. The magnetized rotor and armature attract each other. The clutch momentarily slips on initial engagement. The torque is transmitted from the pulley rotor through the leaf springs and into the armature hub, driving the shaft of whatever is attached to the hub. When the clutch is fully engaged, there is no slippage and the torque transfer is 100% efficient. Although some clutches use bidirectional dampened armatures, most mobile clutches use leaf springs to transmit the torque. The springs need to run in tension, not compression, so clutches are either built to run clockwise or counterclockwise. When the current voltage is removed from the clutch, the armature is pulled away and held in place by the leaf springs, creating a small air gap so there is no contact. In most mobile clutches, friction material is not used and contact between the armature and the rotor is steel on steel. But in some special designs, friction material can be added to increase the contact area for high-speed engagements. Clutches are packed in individual boxes and then packaged into a larger cardboard box. Clutches are shipped with general installation instructions and a hardware kit. Support brackets for the clutch and pump are provided by the OEM or distributor and are normally cast aluminum. The first step is to bolt the pump to the bracket. The Agora hardware kit consists of four bolts to mount the field, a center bolt with a dry locking adhesive, and a washer. Alignment between the field and the armature pulley is critical. 
there is only about a millimeter of clearance between these two pieces. Angularity and perpendicularity should be held to three thousandths of an inch. Install the field assembly to the bracket with the four field bolts provided. Torque down the four bolts to approximately eight pound feet. Use half that torque if the bracket is aluminum. The shaft of the pump is tapered and is tapped to accept a center bolt. A key should already be installed in the pump shaft, but if not, check with the pump supplier for the proper key. Slide the pulley armature onto the pump shaft. Install the washer and center bolt and tighten down to around 12 pound-feet of torque. Once the clutch is completely installed, spin the pulley by hand. There should be no noise. If there is, that means there is contact and more than likely the field is misaligned, so installation should be repeated. Most pump clutches have a single wire connection because they are chassis grounded. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for completing the electrical circuit and make sure prior to connecting the clutch that the clutch control is off. To achieve full torque, new clutches need to have an initial wear-in period. Depending upon inertia and speed, the wear-in period can be anywhere from 30 to 100 engagements. Burnishing should be done at a reduced RPM and at a reduced clutch load. For high inertia loads, do not cycle the clutch more than four times per minute.